All right, uh, great college football game tonight. Uh, give uh, Morgan State a lot of credit. Really good football team. Uh, it was a tremendous atmosphere. I, I got to be honest, I don't know if I've, I've definitely never been in an atmosphere like that where you know it's half a stadium. Uh, so you got to give their fans, uh, their team, a lot of credit. They're, they're a really good football team. It was a tough place to play tonight, and uh, I, yeah, I'm probably more proud of this win than than, than the previous three. To, to, they're all important, but. Um, we had to find different ways to win tonight. It ended up being kind of a slugfest, really a defensive battle uh, back and forth. Uh, of course, our, our defense, uh, the four turnovers, the huge stops, I mean, closing the game. I, I just, you can't say enough about how we play defensively. I mean, you just, you just can't. And a lot of guys stepped up, uh, played through a lot of things. It was uh, our gutsy performance by defense. Um, obviously, you know, not, not real enthused about how we played offensively other than the fact that we finished. And uh, we finished and we, we did it when we had to do it. And uh, that was a huge drive there at the end. And our defensive, defense uh, answering and closing it out was such a sequence to finish. And uh, if anything we've done up to this point shows the, I think, progress we're making in that locker room within the walls of culture uh, tonight as a whole, we really did show that. So this is a huge road win. Or road, road conference wins are goal. I've heard me say that multiple times. And uh, we found a way and it feels damn good. What do you attribute Caleb's struggles to and also his poise though on that final drive? Yeah, um, just, you know, didn't get off to a great start. We just kind of had trouble seizing momentum. Um, you know, give them credit. Certainly they made some competitive plays and they made things tough on us. And then I thought at times we we had some just routine things there, whether it was calls, whether it was throws, whether it was catches that we just did not do to the level that we need to. So. Um, I got to be better for, for the offense. We got to make more routine plays. We obviously got a lot, lot to correct and a lot to work on. Caleb Williams struggled a lot. If you were on the sideline talking to him, what did you tell him? How did you, how did you get him out of his thumb? I just said we've been there before. You know, it's these, these games, you can't, everybody wants to define like how they're going to go before the game's ever played, right? And, and you just got to go play. And some days, you're not going to be at your best. Some things, some things are not going to go your way. And how you respond in those moments is what separates you. And I just reminded him we've been in a few of these when he was younger. Um, and we talked a lot about throughout the offseason and going into this season about how we wanted to handle it. And you know, I, I, him doing what he did and our guys, not just him, obviously, but our offense doing what they did on that last drive was showed a lot of grit and determination to, to match what we were doing on the field defensively. Eric, are there victories like this? Might be more meaningful than maybe the, like, the way the first three went. Hundred percent, because you just you know if, if everything's rolling and you go separate, I mean that's awesome, and obviously we love for that to happen every week. But that's not college football. Like it just doesn't it doesn't happen like that all the time. And you either you know how many times do you see a really good team go in and get upset or beat in a tough road atmosphere like tonight? I mean it happens all the time. But that's where you separate yourself. The really great teams find a way, no matter what the circumstances. We found a way. To did Oregon State's defense surprise you a little bit tonight? Mm, I don't know if they really did anything. I haven't seen the tape yet, but I don't think there was – they sort of didn't like come out in the new defense or anything like that. There was a, a wrinkle here and there, but they were minimal. I mean, they play hard. They're a very experienced group. Uh, they took advantage of some of our mistakes. Um, so, not their good defense. They didn't surprise me. Eric, the defense came up with several fourth quarter stops. What was critical in, in getting those you know, turnovers and those stops tonight? Well, just doing our assignment. Everybody on the same page. Um, like I said, a lot of the times, it's a lot of self information. So, just doing our assignment, making sure everybody on the same page. And I mean, could probably, could probably show us the numbers of how we are when we're on the same page. So, I think that's really give us a lot of confidence. Eric, when the, when the offense is struggling a little bit, how much does, did the defense today kind of take that on their own shoulders? Um, I mean, there's no nerves. I mean, we got a lot of special people on the team, and I'm not worried about the offense at all. She got us leaving, so I wasn't worried about the last drive. I wasn't worried about when we were down there. Like I said, um, it's game-defining moments. It's a, it's a, this is a game that defines not just USC, but just how we are as a team. You know, us staying, sticking with each other and playing hard. Travis, what was, what was Caleb like down the stretch? Just the mentality and composure and everything? Oh, he was super composed. Um, he was ready to go after and put, and, uh, put the ball in the, in the, goal, uh, in the end zone. Um, and, you know, you, you didn't not for one second think that he was somewhere else or his mental was somewhere else. You know, you knew that he was going to get it done. 
Travis, third straight 100-yard game for you. What did you see out there that was working for you? you know, my my, <laughs> my old linemen were just, you know, doing their job to a team, and uh, it allowed me to get through those holes. Um, you know, so all credit to my old linemen for all three of those games. Lincoln, what did you think of the way the line pushed Caleb on that fourth down? That was awesome. I mean, that's the, those are the moments, right? Like, those are – that's what it comes down to, you know, fourth down, and, and you got to find a way, and, and you just got to leave it all on the field. And if you – play hard every single snap and it, it means a lot to you, then you don't have to wonder when that one play is going to come up that might change your name. And that one obviously was a huge one. We played hard. It was a great you know, effort by Caleb. All of our guys were pushing. I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, like I said, as a coach, hey, you want to come win, you know, 60 to 10 every week, right? That'd be awesome. But I mean, as a coach, to, to see that, um, you know, just, I'm, I'm really, really proud of our group and, and, and our fight. And it was, it was at an elite level. Defensively, it feels like every week we're kind of in the same situation where it's like, can you keep you know, getting takeaways? But it seems like now it's kind of become routine for the defense to get a few takeaways. What do you attribute that to and how sustainable maybe that is going forward? It's always sustainable because, like, each game is its own thing, right? The, the previous game doesn't know that you've got turnovers in that game, right? You know, it's, it's just about the next opportunity. Right now, we're taking advantage of it. We're playing really hard. We're active. You saw like Eric's length and some of our guys' length really affecting and getting balls tipped up in the air. We've done a great job of finishing some of those plays. So um, absolutely sustainable. I mean, it's, you know, next week doesn't know what happened this week. And, uh, and, and, and what happened tonight was on top of the turnovers, we played more 11-man ball on defense. Right? We, we got to the ball. Um, we did not have nearly, I guarantee you, without watching the tape, we had significantly less busts in this game than we've had in the first, in the first couple. So we made progress. And when you turn the ball over and you play sound, you're going to have a night like this night. That's called great defense. What did you say to Alex Grinch on the sideline there late? I don't know if I can repeat it. <laughs> after, after the game, or when it, once we got the stop? Or and when you get the stop, you embrace him a little bit later? I was just, just, uh, just proud of him. You know, proud of the defensive staff, uh, proud of the defensive players. That's a good football team. It's a good offense. Um, and they had to continually step up. And uh, uh, coaches, players, all that, really, yeah, just outstanding job. Just proud of it. It was a lead effort by coaches and players. Travis, what, what was the conversation between you guys as offensive players through the first three quarters when you're not putting points up? You know, just to keep fighting. You know, um, you know things like this happen. You know, it's just football. Things like this happen all the time, and uh, if you just keep your team up and you just keep keep fighting, keep chipping away, keep chipping away, you know it, it'll bound to end up how it ended up tonight. You know, you just gotta you gotta keep playing ball. You know, this is what football is. You know, this is the moments that we live for. You know, this is it. You know, so you just gotta keep playing ball. And that's really what it was. Lincoln, the play clock was catching up to you guys a bit in the first half of that. Was that a noise thing? Uh, Get the plays in there. Yeah, noise was a little bit of a factor. And then I thought there was just some things operationally from us that, that we got to be more efficient with. I, we just we wasted some unnecessary seconds there that just have got to be coached and executed better. And then and they got the depth of the noise was a factor. I mean, that's, you know, I don't know if it's just coming into a stadium that's only half available. It's going to be like that. They to the crowd. That's just something that's going to be better because we're going to be in other noise environments. Travis, Travis, what do you think of the environment having been in this rivalry uh, previously? You know, with only half the stadium, what was it like for you? Yeah, it was crazy because this is probably one of the rowdiest crowds you know Oregon State's ever came with. Um, you know, and they only had half of the field, um, so kudos to them. They were really out there with the energy. Um, it, it was really fun. It was really fun out there. You know, to to hear that crowd be on that field. You know, and try to quiet it down.